all right guys welcome back to another video it's your man jay first things first problem solved so the pixel folds battery life has drastically increased and i only really did two things now i appreciate you guys um telling me in the comment section of some of the things that i i could possibly do uh and i'm gonna go ahead and go to some of these comments here I, again i genuinely respect your comments on how to save battery life but some of these things I, there's nothing that i would I would do, I wouldn't turn off. And this isn't pointing out, you know, any one person. Um, Cause most of these things were pretty much the same. You guys were saying the same thing. Oh, you need to turn off Bluetooth. You need to turn off Wi-Fi. You need to restrict background apps. Great power saving tips, but I would rather just turn on power saving mode instead of doing all of that. Cause with power saving mode, extended power saving mode, I can literally go in and restrict apps and still have access to everything and get great battery life. So while the people are recommending turn off Bluetooth, turn off Wi-Fi scanning, I always turn off Wi-Fi scanning, by the way, that's the first thing I do when I get a device. And, but I just think it's bad, I, bad a bad idea to turn off 5G. Um, I, I just don't, I don't why, know why a person would turn off 5G when they're getting great 5G. So it, it's weird that people are recommending to turn off 5G. So what I've done is very simple. So now let me address the video that I put out. Uh, and again, I appreciate the people um, that were giving the advice on there. Uh, I just re I just applied a new skin, sophiegard.com. If you're wondering, grab your skins at sophiegard.com. Amazing quality, really good. Have a lot of designs. So I put out a video a few days ago talking about, you know, the one flaw that I felt like this device had, and it was battery. So. With that being said, I never just put out a video and, and you know, not have any kind of resolution for you. So ironically enough, um, I had already recorded that video the day before and I was getting ready to post it. And then Android beta 14 was announced to me. Uh, shout out to Gigi for telling me about Android beta 14. I actually had that 14 installed while you guys are watching that premiere and had started my journey to better battery life but i didn't want to take that video down because that's something that really happened with me the device and i want to be truthful and tell you all the things because no devices i'm not going to just praise a device all the way through and not have any kind of you know something about it so that is a real world thing for me with the battery it really happened like that so with that being said you know I made that video and it was real, but then I got to reading your comments in there and I was like, wow, this is, these, these people are turning off, they're doing everything that they probably should keep on. Like who would want to turn off 5G? Who would want to turn off Bluetooth? Who would want to turn off Wi-Fi? I have one gig internet at the house and so my connection is always stable. I mean, I have one gig up and down. Now, while the Wi-Fi on this device isn't as great as some other devices, it's the first attempt. So I get maybe between four and 500 when I'm doing the test on here. Oh, I was testing it out. I get, um, I get really good Wi-Fi speeds overall with this device. So I can upload from this device, download stream. I could do pretty much anything I could possibly want to do with the internet in my house because it's a solid connection. So the reason I wouldn't turn off Wi-Fi is because that's a very stable connection and it's not hurting my battery life. And also Bluetooth, I have a Pixel Watch connected, but I also have Bluetooth controlling other things. And so I wouldn't turn off Wi-Fi, I wouldn't turn off 5G, and I wouldn't turn off Bluetooth. Sadly, those were like the top things people were saying to turn off. And I question to those people, why would you turn those things off if you need them? So if you don't need Wi-Fi, I get it, you wouldn't use that. If you don't need Bluetooth, rare that you wouldn't need Bluetooth. Like Bluetooth is a part of everything now. So it's strange if you say you don't need Bluetooth, but I guess, man, if you if you feel like you don't need Bluetooth, um, I, I guess I use Bluetooth in way too many ways to turn it off. So those things were great. Now, here's what I did again. Let me go in here and I went in and I installed Android beta. Once again, shout out to Gigi for pointing out to me. J beta is available for, for, for 14. I'm like, yes. So as soon as I installed this. The phone was idle for about five hours and it only dropped like 1%. And I knew then, I said, yeah, this is this is gonna be a hit. This is, this is gonna really help my battery life. So I, I, I put it on Android 14 and then I charged it to 100 and then you know I ended up not touching my phone for like four hours, four and a half hours. And when I looked at the battery life, it was still, it was on 99% and I thought, yes, problem solved. But it wasn't all the way solved. So, oh, well, I guess I should go back in there because I need to show you. I went into display. If 
folks, this is where I, this is where I think the biggest jump, and I went to the lock screen. This is where I feel like your biggest hit on battery might be for any phone, but specifically the Pixel Fold. This is now keep in mind, only thing I've done is install Android Beta 14. Now, the way to really see if this is real, I know I know this will really help battery, but I'd have to go back to 13 to really see if there's a drastic difference. But right now I'm not having any issues on 14, so I'm gonna leave it on 14. But I went into this and I had several things turned on. I had several things turned on. So the first thing I had turned on was the now playing. I had this turned on, it was always listening. So this is always on. And so it was probably definitely hitting my battery pretty hard. I also had uh, this turned on right here, always on. And I changed that to tap uh, to check phone. I had it, I was gonna turn on lift, uh, but I said, you know, I'll just tap it to show. I think that's that's good. So it's no accidentals. And then I also had wake screen for notifications turned on. That is what I did. And now this device is drastically better on battery. Uh, now, could Android 14 be helping out? Possibly, I'm sure it will. Gigi report, well, I won't I won't tell you where, she's gonna put a video out, I'm sure. So I can tell you for me, when I first installed Android 14, I knew instantly that this was gonna be a better experience on the, on the Pixel Fold. I knew it, for some reason, my battery life just was much better. It's, it's drastically better. And then the settings I made for the lock screen, I know that has been helping me because the battery drain, it, it's its sipping a lot less now when it comes to the, the battery life and standby time on here. Now I frequently have my device open like this uh, and I'm surfing the web, I'm, I'm doing things and I, I really believe that this is what it is going to be like for me. I'm gonna have stellar battery life with this device now that I've turned off the display lock screen settings. 14 is helping but I think it's probably more about the things that were increasing the battery usage on the lock screen. So there's no, there's tips and tricks that people are gonna tell you, respect, but I'm not turning off Wi-Fi, I'm not turning off Bluetooth, and I'm not turning off 5G. I know LTE is a stable connection, but I'm on Visible Wireless, which runs on Verizon's network, and my connection for phone calls has always been great. While I don't think their internet is the best, I think their phone phone calls is what I'm not on the internet when I'm away from the house that much. As long as my emails come in, I'm fine, you know. And and, and like my messaging app is working with, for chat and all that, I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it. But to me, I, I don't want to make a long drawn out tips and ticks, tricks, battery, and all this other stuff. It, 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 that's this is all I've done. And I think I probably could have just turned not installed 14 and probably got better battery life by turning off those things like always on display and showing to tap to show and things like that. So with that being said, man, I'm loving the device all over again. I'm loving it. Uh, I mean, I loved it before. It was, it was it was phenomenal before, but having not, you know, being I can stay off the charger a lot longer. Now you're going to ask, Jay, well, how long have you been off the charger? I've noticed that I can go over a day now, simply put, I can go, and I'm not gonna say 36 hours yet, I'm still in the beginning phases. So I've only been on Android 14, I think for a couple days or something like that. And I just recently went in and turned off and changed the uh, settings for the lock screen. So if you're gonna ask me, Jay, I don't wanna use battery power saving mode. I'm still for battery power saving mode because when I turn that on, um, the extreme, Look in this. I can set up what I want here. You see what I'm saying? So I, I, I'm just off for the extreme battery saving because I can restrict the applications that I want to use in the background. And I really recommend that if you don't want to do anything, that I'm, if you don't want to install Android 14, why you wouldn't want to do that? I don't know. Uh, but <clears throat> if you want to wait for the public release, great. But if you just don't want to install Android 14, just hit your lock screen up and turn off some of those things that I just showed you there. And then also use extreme power saving mode or just use power saving mode because power saving mode, the, the one that's not extreme, you still, everything's still the same. It's just sipping less and limiting things in the background. The resources drop a little bit. So it's up to you to determine how you wanna save battery life on any phone. But when you have a situation with a phone and it's, you're experiencing some battery uh, it woes and you, 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 you really need more battery, these are some things you can do. And the Pixel Fold is no exception. This is a phenomenal device. Glad I picked it up. And uh, man, 
Install Android 14 if you can. Install Android 14 if you can. It's it's been smooth for me. No crashes on anything. No nothing. And then the lock screen thing. I think that's gonna help me out even more. So it's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.